Okay, this one's on the Stones of Fire, found in Ezekiel 20. Um, you can find a lot of literature on this, and people, you know, really go deep into it and try to take all the surrounding passages around it and really make a lot into it. And, of course, the King of Tyre and, you know, the fallen Satan and all these things and cherub and anointed ones and all this stuff. And uh, you can see Michael S. Heiser actually go through this long tirade where he never answers the actual question, just like he does quite often. Um, what are the stones of fire? Well, here's your answer. Um, it's an old Canaanite ritual that they used to do. They used to have a lot of fire worship. You're probably aware of that. They had ball and the big fire pits and they threw their children into it. And they liked to burn everything to death and scorch it to death. It's where the whole sacrifice in the Bible comes from about burning something to death and to singe it all the way up, all the way from Sinai, all the way through is all a Canaanite ritual. It has nothing to do with Yahweh or anything. It actually is a stolen Canaanite ritual where they burn things up. They have fires. There's names for the God of fire and they worship fire and they make their kids pass through fire. And uh, even if they do not get drawn by lots to be a baby thrown into the fire pit. And what they do is they make them do a ritual of fire walking. Now, it's described in St. Cunathon and a few of these old uh, Barosas and, and guys like that, old historians, where they would make a huge fire out of logs that was double wide, in other words, a railroad track on the left and the right, and get it all in fire and go crazy with it. And then they would bust the coals all down into the middle of it, and they had to run through fire. Kind of like fire walking, like you do... Um, you know, at luau's and things like that. Um, let me see if I can find fire walking. You know what I'm talking about, probably. Um, you know, where you have to run through the fire, and if you do it fast enough, and light and frost effect on your feet, and maybe it won't, um, you know, burn you, right? Well, that's what they had to do. And if they failed or fell or had an adverse reaction from it, they were to be sacrificed that they had failed in the sight of the Lord. And so they had to do this thing that was very much like this, where they run through fire. You had to do a fire walking ritual. Let's look at this. It's like this, where people are walking through fires, right? It was for their fire God and their fire deity that they had. This is the type of rituals. It's still enacted today. People still do this stuff. You know, it's found on islands and things like that where people that still worship fire, right? Because fire good. So it comes all the way back from fire good. And fire can be bad. And then harnessing the good out of fire and showing that you're one that can harness the good out of fire and that it won't hurt you. The same way you would hold a snake. And if it didn't bite you, then you were sacred. And so they used to do stupid shit like hand kids vipers. And if they got bitten, oh, what the fuck? Just throw them into a fire. God said it was a bad juju. You know, but of course we've come way, way past this now, haven't we? Or do we still have a book from thousands of years ago that incites bullshit like this? And it actually still incites racism and stuff. Back whenever then, you know, there was all the people warring a little tribe or he was trying to get areas established. Now the world's established, so to embrace a book like that is going to really cause us problems over time. And here in America, it's definitely causing problems. Like if you like, sub me. Peace. Fire opals.